Impact Lounge is the number one YouTube channel for fans of Impact Wrestling. Make, make a, make a, uh, a good, good lucha, lucha thing. It's just a fact of life. What's up, Impact Wrestling fans? A lot of you out there were disappointed that Chris Jericho did not show up at Bound for Glory. Something I had said previously, don't be surprised if it doesn't happen. I said, don't hold your breath because that's not the way Chris Jericho operates. Six months ago, I really didn't feel like he would show up in the company, but now I'm, I'm beginning to feel that it's very, very possible, even if for a short, short run. There was a rumor about six dates. That could be complete bullshit. We don't really know. But that was the rumor floating around. But as far as Bound for Glory goes, with all the all the talk about it was leaked by this podcast that I had never heard of, you know, so he will be a Bound for Glory. Impact doesn't have the unlimited funds to just bring the dude for a night where he's not going to compete. And he wasn't going to answer Eli Drake's open challenge. I actually got in arguments with people that he had absolutely no reason to answer that challenge. And someone said, well, he's Chris Jericho. He can do whatever he wants. Like, do you, do you listen to Jericho talk? Do you listen to and watch the way he operates? Here's what he said about showing up at Impact Wrestling. And I'm going to read this verbatim to you. Quote, I think you know me well enough to know that there's always a chance. I have no restrictions on anything that I'm doing. And you know me well enough to know that if it was going to happen, I damn well wouldn't tell you. I think it's just one of those things where you'll have to wait and see. I don't have any restrictions or any plans at all. I just kind of do things as they come, which is why this year has been dot, dot, dot. And I'm sure next year will be more of the same. So let's see what happens. End quote. Jericho ain't just going to show up at a show that, you know, the rumors are already circulating. It's already leaked out there. Yes, Impact does need that. Impact needs, uh, you know, more so than some of these other companies where he could probably do a surprise appearance. Now, in the same interview, he was asked about not being asked to do Raw 25. And he had said something here. I don't like wasting a surprise appearance. I don't like wasting those appearances on one-offs. I know how those shows go. There's so many guys on the show. I don't want to do it. Uh, so basically what I'm saying, if, if Jericho is going to show up to something, it's going to be about Jericho. It's going to be all about him. It's going to be something big. He's not just going to show up to show up. So that's those are the words out of his mouth. I think if you can read between the lines, it's really, really possible. But what is the scenario where he can do it? They're not doing live television right now. At least under Dixie Carter, they were trying to do a few. There's the homecoming pay-per-view. Eh, could that work? Slammiversary probably makes a lot more sense. But then we're getting into the realm of, okay, we're, we're expecting him. We're knowing, we're knowing he's coming. So how can they deliver this in a surprise fashion? We'll have to wait and see, folks. Keep it locked on the Impact Lounge. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. And consider subscribing. Number one place to be for Impact Wrestling news, reviews, interviews, and more. Hey, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Check out the video below for more Impact Wrestling related content. This is the Impact Lounge.